I dare to ask the question, could your microwave be making you sick? Now, originally microwaves were called a radar range. And every microwave is known to leak radiation from the door. And I wanna give you an example of that first of all, before I go any further asking questions. Here's the Appliance Insider YouTube channel. I'll click on a video that has not been preloaded. We'll close it. And notice while it's on Wi-Fi, which is 2.4 gigahertz, the same as what a microwave runs at at 2450 hertz, door is closed and it continues to operate, which means there is radiation leakage that's happening right now. So that signal is actually getting through. And I just wanna raise these questions. I wanna challenge you. Is it possible that you're poisoning your children because this radiation, this RF is coming out even while the door is closed. This is a common problem. The industry standard knows it, that there's, there's leakage in almost every microwave. Now, I want to pose the question. If you have children and you are feeding them, uh, say, mac and cheese, starches, corn syrup, sugars, and you nuke it, what is the nutritional value of that food? Are you killing the good proteins and enzymes? Uh, it's time that Americans stop being lazy and actually go back to the old ways. Go back to the methods that work for a lot of time. We live in a, a society of convenience and we want it fast and now and cheap. We want it our way and we're not willing to do the hard work. And so I just want to challenge you. You need to rethink using a microwave. You need to do your own research. Don't just take my word for it. Look into the known problems with microwaves the nutritional value, the RF that's leaking. There's studies that are done actually showing that you sleep better when there's no RF in the house. And so like, yeah, turn your Wi-Fi off, turn your cell phone off, put it on airplane mode. Well, guys, if we know this, and people will tell you like, you go get a, 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 you go get a radiation at the doctor and they say, well, it's just like running the microwave, but you can only have 12 of these in your lifetime. How much radiation is safe to the human body what does it do to the quality of our foods? And I'm not giving medical advice. I know what's gonna happen. People are gonna say, that, that you're a conspiracy theorist. No, I'm a realist. And I'm just trying to challenge you that maybe the industry has told us to accept something, but honestly, I have a hard time trusting our government, especially with the standards they have set for many different appliances that have come out where it's not what they say, or it's not as their, their settings that they wanted all the appliance manufacturers to adhere to. It turns out that it's actually making it harder uh, to clean your clothes or dishes. Dishwashers had a problem with this back in the day where the government standard, they want, the gov they want you to stop using so much energy and water and then it turns out they did a study that it was actually causing you to spend more through the hot water heater and then people had to manually wash things at the sink so they, they reeled that back with dishwashers they realized they had a problem well, i'm here to tell you microwaves have a problem also and i want you to reconsider if you have a microwave in your house uh, there is perhaps no safe level in your house i'll link the video that i did with the RF tester and it shows that a safe level is at three. And when you stand in front of a microwave, it's at 30. And so it's way beyond what even our government says is safe. And other people say that no levels are safe. And so I just want to challenge you, clean up your, your, your life starting with your appliances. If you have an appliance that might be causing you know, a cancer, a tumor, or infections in your body, you know, do you think you should look into that? I mean, you think about how this works. You have a magnetron that sends a signal back and forth and it bounces, it bounces, it bounces. And these radio waves are leaking out of these plastic doors and it's going into your house and it may actually cause interference in electronics. It may actually cause issues with uh, medical devices, but what is it doing to our brain and our clarity of mind? So I just want to challenge you, reconsider if you have a microwave. It might be good health if you go back to an older method. I hope this has been a blessing. God bless.